in keeping with the tradition of modifying the 3800 and still developing new parts, we have some exciting news for you. This is our stage two uh, Gen 5 version intercooler. Uh, we've sold hundreds and hundreds of these. I think everybody is quite familiar with it, works very well, uh, most popular piece on the market. And um, we have revised it. And I am going to introduce you now to the 2.5 version. And I'm gonna tell you about the differences between the two. Uh, there's a lot of small improvements that we made and I think it's kind of an exciting piece that we're still making improvements to the 3800 platform. So on the old unit, in the core, which is where the majority of the changes were made, we had seven millimeters between the water channels and we had quite a large core that is six inches wide inside of here. We thought previously that the air would travel around the entire core and that would cool. But what we learned after running them for a long time is that the bulk of your cooling is happening right there, right at the supercharger outlet. This also brings up a weakness in this. As you can see, there's a little light there. There's actually a gap where a little bit of air can get around the core and travel in. Now on the new core, we narrowed the core to concentrate the coolant flowing in the area where it matters most. We narrowed the channels from seven millimeters to five millimeters between the water channels. We also eliminated the gap completely so that all the air is now being intercooled. We changed the inlet and outlet ports from five eighths to a true three quarter. Not only that, this is three times the wall thickness of the original. So now we can weld on AN fittings. We were able to shed almost a pound of weight and we took a design that people seem to like a little bit better following the contour of the blower. We machined in some labeling, got your ZZP, your Gen 5. By using a narrower core, we were also able to eliminate the PVC uh, rerouting in the intake. This core will now bolt onto the car with no modifications to the PCB. You don't need to uh, change your lower intake if you don't want to. Your PCB holes go straight through on this unit. We opened up the bypass a little bit, just because we could, and then we countersunk your bolts that hold the unit together. Uh, opened this up, a couple other changes. We went to an O-ring design. So no longer are we RTV in the unit shut, we actually have an O-ring making all your seals. And you can see uh, this core is much narrower than the other core, and this actually does improve the cooling quite a bit. We are calling this the 2.5 as it is as it is very similar to the old one but with lots of little improvements that we thought you would like.